Science 3. Describe how sound is used to send information. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to describe how sound is used to send information. Moving your index finger back and forth. A. Pointing direction. B. Good. Approve. C. You are in trouble. D. Showing respect. E. Congratulations. Pag nung so. A. Pointing direction. B. Good. Approve. C. You are in trouble. D. Showing respect. E. Congratulations. Pagmamano. A. Pointing direction. B. Good. Approve. C. You are in trouble. D. Showing respect. E. Congratulations. Handshaking. A. Pointing direction. B. Good. Approve. C. You are in trouble. D. Showing respect. E. Congratulations. Thumbs up. A. Pointing direction. B. Good. Approve. C. You are in trouble. D. Showing respect. E. Congratulations. Play the audio. One. What is the source of this sound? The sound is a bell ringing, specifically an electric bell with a metallic, vibrating strike. Two. Where do you usually hear this sound? You would typically hear this in educational institutions such as elementary schools, high schools, or colleges. Three. What does this sound mean to you? This sound usually signals a transition in the school day, the start or end of a class period, the beginning or end of a lunch break or recess. Play the audio. One. What is the source of this sound? The source of this sound is a fire truck. Two. Where do you usually hear this sound? You usually hear this sound on public roads, highways, or in residential areas when emergency vehicles are in transit. Three. What does this sound mean to you? An emergency situation requiring immediate assistance such as a fire or a rescue operation. As you can see, certain sounds carry specific messages. 
In this lesson, you will explore other ways sound can be used to send messages. Read and define the following words and provide examples. 1. Code. 2. Tool. Device. 3. Pattern. One code, a way of sending messages that only certain people or machines can understand. Example, when you send a secret message to a friend using special symbols or letters, that's a code. For example, using numbers to represent letters, like one equals A, two equals B. Using the the given code, fill the letter correspond to the following numbers. Two, tool, device. Something that helps you do a job. Example, a phone is a device you use to call or message people. Three, pattern. Something that repeats in a certain order. Example, when you clap your hands, stomp your feet, clap your hands, stomp your feet, that's a pattern because it repeats the same way. Morse code. Before electricity, people communicated through written letters. In 1844, the first Morse code machine was invented. Morse code is a system of communication that uses short beeps, dots, and long beeps, dashes, to represent letters and numbers. What do you think is needed to send and understand a message using these beeps? A code to represent the message, someone to send and someone to understand the message. Now let's watch this movie clip from Titanic and how they use the Morse code to send a message. Tell whoever responds that we're going down by the head and need immediate assistance. Blimey. Maybe we should try that new distress call. SOS. It may be our only chance to use it. What does SOS actually stand for?
adopted as an international distress signal because the pattern is easy to send and recognize, signaling an urgent need for help. Name that sound. Using the sound guess the word. How can we use sound to communicate or send messages over long distances? We can use sound patterns like the tone of human talking and different combinations of short and long beeps. We need to agree on what each sound means by following a set of rules or having a shared meaning. 